Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, there is another man here. Something bust in your stomach. Come out. Jesus love you. Man of God, I'm the man that something bust right now and is bleeding on my Andrews. I'm using party like women as I'm standing here. Bust today. It bust there. Yes, sir. You know, I say something bust. While the prayer was going, the pipe he was using to it urinate burst. immediately bust. That is very correct, sir. Warning. The footage you are about to watch is of a sensitive nature. And although it may not be suitable for all viewers, it is for the glory of God. Mr. Emelogu Chidi has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with the problem of chronic piles and has to use the pads due to the severe bleeding from the anus. He also suffers from urinary tract disorder due to enlarged prostate and has to use a catheter to urinate all the time. He has had these problems for the past 15 years. This is the medical report from a hospital explaining the diagnosis of his ailment. This is the catheter attached to his private part that he has to use all the time. Without it, he will not be able to urinate. Because of the chronic piles, the bleeding is so much that even the pads he wears is not enough to catch the blood, that it has extended to even his boxer shorts. Upon removing the pads he wears, you can see the severe bleeding from the anus. You can just imagine the pain and discomfort Mr. Chitty must be experiencing on a daily basis. Elle dit maintenant qu'elle est libre après le toucher de l'homme de Dieu, prophète Tibi Joshua. Televidente, connectez-se. Ce sont sous contact. Man of God, man of God, please help me. I can no longer go to toilet. I cannot we. To God be the glory, Mr. Chitty is free. No longer using a catheter to urinate and pads because of the bleeding from the anus due to chronic piles. Mr. Chitty came back to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to testify to his complete and perfect healing. Mr. Chitty, fully healed and recovered, could not shy away from the supernatural miracle that Jesus Christ performed in his life. He shows the area where he once used the pads because of the bleeding from his anus due to chronic piles. To God be the glory, he no longer uses the pads, and there is no more bleeding. Jesus Christ is indeed the master healer. No longer using the catheter, Mr. Chitty demonstrates how he can urinate freely into a bowl. To God be the glory, pain, bondage, sickness and discomfort is a thing of the past. Hallelujah! George Emmanuel! Emmanuel! My name is Chidi Emeluga, I'm a lawyer. The Chidi talking now is a healthy Chidi. It's not like the Chidi that couldn't talk like you just watched. Praise the Lord. Well, the footage was exactly what happened here Sunday, the 2nd of April, 2017. 
I had had the problem you saw about both pile and uh, enlarged prostrate. For though we put 15 there, the truth is that that's as far as I could remember, but it's well over 18 years. I should, it should be closer to 20 than it is to 15. And I had had to go through hell. I had had to go through hell. Each time I remember what I passed through there, I want to walk out to make sure I make heaven. Because if that kind of thing could be as painful as that, then only God knows how hell will be. So it's an advantage that I have gone through this. It has made me know that the pains of going through hell is unbearable. Therefore, by God's grace, I will not go to hell, and you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. Now, in the past, I had, since, like I said, I've gone with this problem. I had visited hospitals right from away when I was there, Kenebo Hospital. I've had to go to try native uh, medication, especially when the issue now became surgery. I believe there are medical doctors there. For those who know what pile and uh, prostrate could combine to do in the life of a man, you don't need explanation. But for the benefit of those of us who don't know, this thing has kept me, made me less of a man over the years. It had affected me in my job. I had had to just manage all the time. As a lawyer, of course, you know, I would need to sit down. But sincerely, there was no place to use in sitting down over time. Then, sometimes, I remember one a particular occasion that my case was called up. And just as I was standing up, I had the urge to go and urinate. I excused myself and went out. Of course, you know what would happen. Those of you who will understand how the judges behave in court. So I lost that case. Even though it was rescheduled, I lost it. It was a good case I wouldn't have lost. That's just an example of what has happened to me as a result of this problem. So we have continued. Each time they say uh, operation, operation, I'll say, I didn't have courage for it, like you saw me declare there. We continue that way, it will come. I started using a, a pad, like women. Of course, women, their own is monthly, but my own was on a daily basis, and sometimes more than once in a day, in order to escape embarrassment. Otherwise, you see yourself sitting on a place, and by the time you stand up, somebody will call you. If they don't call you, they will just be talking about it, and you will be, you know, even if they don't call you, you know that you have left embarrassment behind. So you continue that way. Of course, going to defecate was a problem. I shared, let me use the common language, I shared going to toilet. Because each visit to toilet meant, you know, losing blood. And of course, that was affecting my health. I had to live on antibiotic for a very long time on the advice of doctor. Since I was not agreeable to the surgery, they said I was going to develop terrible infection. So I was living on uh, antibiotic over time. But what, was, what gave me the courage to continue in that uh, refusal of uh, surgery was because I had known Emmanuel TV. I had known Synagogue Church of All Nations. I had watched over time. I had seen cases that were even worse than my own, and they were being taken care of. So I knew that if God was the one doing that, and I believed in it, that it would be my turn sometime someday. Praise the Lord. That sometime someday came on Sunday, the 2nd of April, 2017. Now, the problem had escalated, so it had become so much, I left to Lagos from Abuja, where I stay. On getting here, instead of checking into a guest house, a hotel, I discovered that the best for me was to check into a hospital there, a missed hospital to be precise, that I managed to leave 
after the doctor had attended to me, I managed to leave because I said there was no way I could come here without coming to church. Honestly, it was about closing hour. Uh, mass prayer was already on when I came in, but I was desperate, so I came in. In less than 15 minutes, church, in less than 15 minutes that I came into the church. And uh, of course, hardly had I sat down. There was no way I could sit down. I was standing by the window when that prophecy came. So it was a shocker. It was a shocker to me, not because I had not expected that I'll be healed here, that that surgery I've been running away from will happen here. No, I had always believed it would happen here. But I didn't know it was going to be that day. And on a day that I came in while the church was closing, I was happy. I was happy. And like you can see, I had tears of joy rolling over me. I said, is this the way this thing happens? So I felt on top of the more so as I knew what that problem had cost me over years. So if you saw me crying, I don't know what caused the tears. I was saying, is this the day I have been waiting for, in pains and all of that. So I came forward and he prophesied accurately. I've not, I don't know how he saw that there was a catheter that was already leaking. Of course it was leaking. And so I came out and what followed was prayer. And I thank God that after the prayer, if you, if you saw me well then, now you can see me now. Hmm. Meaning that I am no longer having any enlarged prostate. I no longer have urinary, uh, pro, urination problem. I don't have uh, any, uh, any, anything, I, any, anything bulging on my anus, no inflammation, no bleeding. I eat what I want to eat. I go to the toilet the way I want to go. And there has not been any problem of, you know, protrusion or bleeding just by that one touch. Wow. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for Jesus Christ? Part of the problem that this thing has caused was also a little domestic social, you know, obligation in the house. I'm a man, I have a wife, and those who know, we definitely understand that for this twin problem, for this kind of problem, that your activeness as a man is restricted. And thank God for good wife. You know what I mean. Okay. So, so it had affected me to that extent. Mm. And glory be to God that uh, since April, since I received that one touch, mm. in fact, me and my wife in the house, we make just of one touch. When I say <laughs> Since that one touch, our marriage has become anew, alive, afresh, enjoyable, mm. as if we are, you know, starting all over again. Wow. To God be the glory. Yeah, we thank God Almighty for what God has done in your life. But sir, we are seeing some pictures on the board beside you. We want you to explain to us what they are all about. Wow. Seeing is believing. Um... Where do I start? I want to start from what you're seeing here. This is a bloated anus, inflamed anus. And if you have experienced anything as painful as this before, then you must understand why I have to jump and jump and jump. Glory be to God. This was how it was the whitish things you're seeing here were uh, anuso suppository that I was using to, doctors will understand, that I was using to just see how I could, you know, assuage the pains. But it was a no-go area, untouchable. Any, any contact with what you're seeing here, any contact with what you're seeing here would give you the kind of pain you ever couldn't have imagined. So that was the situation that I was in at the time I came into the church. So, like I said, I left the hospital here into the church. Dr. Bola, if you are listening, 
you will be my uh, you will testify to the fact that you did uh, you helped me a lot. May God bless you, a young man. Now, okay. What about the next picture? The Beside next picture it. is what was coming out of this place. This is exactly blood. You can imagine a man at my age losing this kind of blood on a regular basis for as long as I went to the toilet. This, this would happen. Mm. So I shared going to the toilet. In other words, I shared eating. So I don't know how a man would have been living without eating, if not the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, and the medical report beside it? The medical report that you are seeing describes my situation. This was uh, on the 1st of uh, April. I had gone to Owere on the 31st from Abuja. On getting to Owere, I just saw myself into the hospital because I could no longer urinate. No way again. Mm -hmm. The anus had protruded. Mm -hmm. I was almost lifeless, except that I was breathing. So while in the hospital, I shared that the worst could happen. And I had waited all these years, believing that my contacts, my knowledge and understanding of and belief in Synagogue Church of All Nations would take care of it. Mm -hmm. I said this was a time to take decision. I left, I left to Owere immediately to this place. Okay. And like I said, instead of going to the hotel, I went into the hospital again. So now the picture below, the what picture is the picture you're seeing, below now? The picture you're seeing below is the way I am now. The way I was when God made me. Oh. The way I was before this stage. Wow. I feel so good. I feel so fine. I have no problems anymore. Nothing to worry about. I go to the toilet, sit there, read my newspapers, <laughs> because that's where I read it. Glory God Almighty God. has restored you back to your original position, to the glory of God. Put your hands together once again for Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, for the benefit of people listening to you, because we have many people to having the same similar problem, and they don't know how to go about it. They are going through pain. Now, what advice do you have for them? Um, my advice will be twofold. I will, seek your, I will seek your permission for a little patience, because it is one thing, it is one thing knowing what is happening to you and knowing where you should go and believing you should go there. There are a lot of us who know about uh, this kind of place. I don't want to say this place, this kind of place. But because of what people say, you tend to keep suffering in silence. And for those people who open their mouth so wide, I, I just have one word, or rather a sentence. I, I will refer you to the book of Matthew, chapter 12. Take your reading from verse 25 and get to verse 37. Matthew 12, 25 to 37. That will answer so much of the questions you are asking or the things people are telling you about Synagogue Church of All Nations. Because if I start and go ahead and say, if you have a problem, come here, you may not understand. Now, that is that. If you have a problem like I used to have, keep believing that God, is in control. He knows us from the beginning. He knows where we are ending. But be focused. Keep believing that he will take care of your situation. Especially if you are the type that shared surgery like I shared for so many years. Keep sharing. There is something good in sharing. If only you have faith that God will one day visit your situation. Like he visited mine on the 2nd of April this year. Wow, to God be the glory. Put your hands together once again for Jesus Christ. Yes, our Father is making us to understand that indeed God Almighty is the solution to all fundamental issues of life. Never a sickness he cannot heal, never a problem he cannot solve, and never a solution he cannot find to your problem. Indeed, we thank God Almighty for what God has done in your life. And we believe that this miracle that you have received is not an end in itself, but a means to an end, which is the salvation of your soul. So now tell us once again, sir. So now you mean 
you as a lawyer, as a professional lawyer, now you can go back to your duties. Now you are going to court. I mean, you are doing all the things you could not do before. You are now doing them now. Praise God. The, yeah, that is the position. That is the truth. Starting from that domestic obligation, I have returned to who I used to be, who God created me. Unless I forget, because ingratitude is a very terrible thing. I want to uh, thank the man of God, because after I was healed, after that touch, I want to say that I got shocked that before I left here, an envelope containing money, enough to pay my airfare back to Abuja, was handed over to me. So I don't know how to talk about that. That a man who came with problem, got his problem solved, and also got money to go back. Of course, that time we were going to Kaduna, not direct to Abuja. He took me to uh, Kaduna and paid for a hired cab from Kaduna to Abuja. I still had change. Now, oh, to God be to God be the glory. To God be the glory. We thank God Almighty for what God has done in your life. Now you are telling us again that you are no more using the catheter. I am no more using. I don't even. I, I find it difficult to spell the the word catheter. <laughs> because they are now a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. I'm so excited. I, I don't know honestly. God is God, and God is good. Yes. Again and again, and in truth, He is here. Life and direct. If a man could walk into a place like this, I find it difficult to, I'm not a statistician, it would be difficult to estimate the number here. If a man could walk into a place like this, another 15 minutes, his case, his challenge was mentioned accurately, then I don't know what else you need to believe that God lives right in this place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We thank God Almighty. Indeed, God is able, no matter where you are. Our Father is also making us to understand that no matter where you are, God can locate you. Just put your trust in Him and He's able to surmount your problems. So we thank God Almighty for what God has done in your life. And we want to enjoin you that you should please make God's word the standard for your life. Let your life be channeled and ruled by the word of God. Because you need him. Okay? You need him to live, to move, to do everything. So allow God's word to be the standard for your life and go and sin no more. So that that miracle that you have received will remain permanent in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.